Raising Kids and this is Minerva and you're watching Raising Minerva. So I'm going to talk to you today about toys again, uh, specifically wooden toys, specifically wooden animals. So we're going to talk about uh, my favourite brand today, we're also going to mention some other brands as well and uh, just let you know how we're getting along with our little collection. There are three main front runners in supplying wooden toys and these are Lanker Kid, Holz Tiger and Ostheimer. Uh, the latter of which we'll be talking about today, but a little bit of background about the other two. So Lanka Kid are specifically um, for, I would say, more aggressive play, younger children, children who like to uh, bite on their toys or throw their toys a little. Um, they're really hard wearing and they're also really cheap and they're really nice and bright and colourful. Holz Tiger, they're a mix, I say, between the two. That's my personal opinion. They've got quite cartoony features, but they're a little bit more realistic in the body. Um, they're a mid-range price as well. Finally, Ostheimer, who we're going to be talking about today, they are the pricier of the three, but they are my favourite in terms of the realism of the figures. Um, they're a lot more realistic. The curves are a lot nicer, I, I find, but each to their own. You know, everyone has favourites for different reasons. My favourite Ostheimer are actually made in Germany. They were founded in the 1930s and I believe they made their first products in 1939. They hold imagination at the heart of every toy that they create. They're a really fantastic toy and they're all made by hand in their workshops. They're also painted by hand as well. They offer a great selection of toys, so you have animals, mythical creatures, there are people, there are scenery elements such as trees and grass and there are also buildings as well. Like I say for the purpose of this video we will just be talking about our animal collection and we received this from a website called Yes Baby by subscription. We sign up to a subscription that pays £25 a month and that goes straight out of my account and in return we get a box of beautiful wooden animals to open. Every month we don't know what we're going to receive, so it's a really, really nice surprise. I am also planning on doing some unboxing videos on this channel of our future deliveries, so please stay tuned for those as well. Sometimes Yes Baby don't always have subscriptions open, so please do check their website to see if they're currently running this subscription. If not, you can also buy all of these animals individually from their website, uh, and I couldn't recommend the company more. They are really fantastic, wonderful customer service, really great prices, and speedy delivery as well. So in our subscription box we actually just get animals. Um, I did request that we didn't get any of the fantasy creatures or people just now. Um, if I want those I do go on and buy them individually and as a matter of fact I've recently bought two fantasy creatures that I'll be hopefully making a video about in the near future. Um, so this is our current animal collection and I'm going to go through some of our favourites now. So I've brought out some of my absolute favourites to show you and let's start with this bear. It's one of the first ones that we ever received in our first box um, and I just fell in love with him immediately. I think because he's one of the first that's why um, I like him so much but I'm just going to turn him around a few times you can have a look. Every Ostheimer toy comes with that stamp on the bottom there as you can see so you know that it's an authentic Ostheimer. And just a beautiful face on it there, look at his expression, he's so cute. So this is one of my favourites. I really like the way they carve the ears on this one. I just really like the nice size of it and the heft of it as well. It's really great for playing with. And I just love these edges as well that they curve um, and they sort of round off a little bit. 
So that's the uh, first of my picks of my absolute favourites. The second here is the pheasant. The reason I love this pheasant is because I wouldn't have actually picked this one myself. So I'm showing you this today as an example of why a mystery box is such a great idea. Um, I would never have bought this. I would have just passed it by. Don't ask me why, I just would have. And because I didn't have a choice, it was sent to me. Um, it, I've, I've actually found a, a hidden gem that I, I really adore. I absolutely love this piece. Um, and from the second I saw it, I fell in love with it. It's the colours on it. It's the shape of it. I just think it's the most beautiful piece. Um, and I am really glad that I got it because, like I say, wouldn't have bought it otherwise. So really pleased that we've got that in the subscription box. Another of my favourites is this little elephant. I believe that they do um, a series of elephants, including larger ones, but we've just got this little one for now, and I am absolutely in love with him, his little trunk. I really love his eyelashes just here, his tiny little eyelashes, and it's just an expression. I love the expression of all of the Ostheimer toys. Um, I re did read somewhere that they try and keep the expression neutral so that children can put their own feelings on the toys as they're playing with them, and I really like that as a concept. I believe that's taken from Waldorf inspiration um, for play. And uh, that's something that I try to make sure that we can do um, and why we love wooden toys, really. Um, again, the ears, I really love the way that they've done the ears there as well. Um, and just again, just a really nice little toy. There's a bit of a blush on the uh, trunk there, which I like as well, of a slightly darker grey. Um, and it's just the attention to detail, things like that. Although it's not painted with much detail, um, the detail is in the sort of the making of the piece, which is just absolutely stunning. So another favourite I've got here is this one. Again, this is mainly for the colours. I really love how vibrant this just goes to show how bright they can make the colours, even when they're using natural um, paints and dyes. Uh, I really love this one. Minnie really likes this one as well because she loves any kind of bird at the moment. Um, and we've been to the farm lots and she's seen lots of chickens, hens, roosters, um, cockerels, things like that. Um, so she is obsessed with this one at the moment, which does make me a bit biased towards this one um but again just the colors of it and the size is really nice as well and just the way that they do the plumage there with having a solid piece but still having the painted on sort of separate parts really love it and again the ostheimer stamp is on the bottom of this one as well the tiger is a firm favorite of mine it is absolutely gorgeous quite a little bit bigger um and with a rope tail, which is why I've picked it to show you. Um, I really like the additional sort of tactile sensory element of these rope tails on some of them. I think we have the tiger and uh, the cow that have rope tails. Um, so, and I really like the way that they color the rope as well with like an orange paint there. Don't know if you can see that. Um, but again, a really vibrant paint, a really vibrant orange. And his expression is just beautiful. I really like the way that knots of the wood can get caught on the expressions there. It really adds some personality to every single piece. And of course, not every single one of them is the same. They're all entirely different because they're all made by hand. The final one I want to show you today is this duck. And I really love this duck for one reason only. To be honest with you, it's the neck. I really love the way that the neck is carved. It's so beautifully done. Really, really delicate. This is an example of one that I won't give Minnie for a while yet because she's a little bit too little for it. But when she's ready for it, I think that she's going to have lots of fun with this because she's obsessed with ducks as well. Um, so again, the stamp on the bottom there, the bright colour of the bright yellow and this flash of bright blue at the back. I absolutely adore this piece. Um, and I just think it looks so dainty and delicate and, and it's got such personality. It looks like it's ready to go. So yeah, another favourite of mine. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you did like it, please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. You can leave us some comments as well about what you think about this video and what you think about wooden toys in general. Are you going to buy some Ostheimer for yourself and check them out? Let me know in the comments just below. Crow?